Hello folks. It has been a long time since I've seen you and it's been a long time since I've seen this project. So I thought it might be fun for us to all get reacquainted and have some crafty time long form video content together. And um, if you, well, so I'll tell you first what this is and then I'll tell you I'll spend a long time probably telling you why I'm making this video while I'm working on it so this is um, as best I remember a junk journal in progress I don't even know if this is one that I want to keep for myself or if this is one that I would want to uh, maybe gift or sell so if you're in, if you see me working on it and you're like, I'm interested, I want to buy this from you, let me know and then maybe I'll list it. But there's also a possibility that I will fall completely in love with it while I'm working on it and be unable to part with it. So we'll just see what happens. Um, it's kind of a fairy tale themed junk journal. And I worked on this for like, I don't know, at least a couple days. Um, at my old house on my old desk um, when I had like a million things going and it was just total chaos and so I just popped it all in the bag and uh, put it away and said I'll come back to this later. So it's in um, what was a copy of Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales and I bought this originally because I wanted a copy of Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales and then as I was reading, so like, what's this doing here? Aha, it's here because of this. So, oh, that's gonna be my end paper. Oh, I love that. <laughs> what a great idea for Vane. Um, <laughs> this is so fun. I literally have not seen this in forever, have no memories of like what my plans were um, or very few memories. And um, yeah, so I originally bought this because I wanted the book. And then as I started to go through it, I realized that like, some pages were missing and it wasn't clear. I don't remember if they were like, like it looked like it was like a misprint that had always been missing pages or if it seemed like somebody had removed pages. But in any case, there were some stories that simply were not complete. And we're just gonna flip through this and get reacquainted with what's already here while I uh, narrate to you. So, um, that was when I decided that I could give myself full permission to just completely um, take this apart and remake it as a junk journal. Wow, dude. I've done some cool stuff here. Um, I love the nightingale. That is such a lovely story. Um, I literally cried while I was reading this story. <laughs> um, but I also, you know, I have other copies of a lot of these fairy tales. And yeah, it just it turned out this book was just not actually in that great condition. And I was like, you know, great excuse to make a fairy tale junk journal. So that is what we are doing. Um, fairy tale, fantasy, whatever. What's this? Oh, interesting. Um, and yeah, so as far as like why I'm making this video, I, oh, if you're here because you're already a subscriber, you probably know that most of my videos in the past have had something to do with either magic, like witchcraft style magic, not like fairy tale style magic, or with um, my music. I've actually removed most of my music from this channel. I have a new channel for that that I've done like no promotion on. Um, maybe I'll link that down below somewhere if I remember. Um, see like this was part of the original end paper for this book. A lot of these pages I have kept. Um, like a lot of the, this like is an illustration from the seven swans or whatever they call it in this one. Um, this is a napkin from the breakfast after party the day after my wedding. Um, 
I might have decided to maybe just keep the wild swans largely intact. Maybe not though, because it looks like there's only a couple pages and then we go into the ugly duckling. Um, I love this. I'm so excited to continue working in this and see what comes of it. Um, yeah, this is like a gel print combination of jelly printing and uh, modeling paste through a stencil on this tag here. These are some of my song lyrics, typewritten. Um, well, I really love what I had going here, so I'm really excited to kind of get, I'm, I'm getting reacquainted with it a little here. Ooh, what's in here? Secrets. That's what's in here. That's fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to continue working on this. So, okay, I have gotten off track, which is one of my greatest skills, actually. I'm really, really good at getting off track, in case you were wondering. Um, is this like already, this appears to be already assembled. It must be stapled. Okay. Which is interesting because I don't feel like I would have chosen this to be the cover. So I guess we can leave that and just say it's kind of cool actually, which it is, or we can end up putting something else over that. That's a later problem. Um, so why am I suddenly posting a crafty video? Interesting. On... <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this. Um, I didn't, I didn't fully commit here. Um, I'm going to commit now. Um, yeah. Why am I posting crafty content, junk journal content on what has until now been mostly a witchy channel. And by the way, um, I did post some crafty junk journal -y content, um, last year probably or maybe early this year I don't know when you're seeing this um after I had made my junk journal that I have been working in all year um there was a part of me that was like oh I'll come back and show it when I finish working in it and now I'm like mm, it's pretty personal at this point I don't know if I'm gonna do that um but I just I love I love working in junk my junk journal and I love making these sorts of things it is just so relaxing and fulfilling and fun and also this is kind of where I think like I think that the I think that more witches should get into junk journaling I think that more witches should junk journal and I think that you should agree with me because I think that junk journaling is particularly well suited to um people who collect little bits and bobs. Okay, so that's the, the journal, what we have of it so far. What all is in this pile? Um, to people who collect little bits and bobs and people who are sentimental and people who appreciate um, the energy and the stories that are hidden in things and like the layers of meaning um, and the layers of beauty that are hidden in things. Um, and I think that <laughs> witches are by and large, maybe not across the board, but by and large, witches are those people. I think that, um, like there's, you know, it's kind of a running joke that like witches cannot part with jars. Um, and it's not just a running joke. It's also largely true. Um, oh man, this is such a good envelope. I don't live here anymore. So you can see this address. Um, this is so beautiful. That can go in the trash. Um, okay, let's sit down, I guess. So, yeah, I think that a lot of witches are the sort of people who can't help but collect bits and bobs and um, can't help but feel the layers of meaning imbued in little things. And so, um, if you are... <laughs> A witch who likes to hold on to little things you know even if you don't know what to do with them and if a lot of those little things happen to be papers or flat um, might I suggest if you hadn't haven't already that you get into junk journaling I think you will find it to be quite a rewarding and fun hobby um, 
Oh, this is fun. Snow Queen. Some of these I might um, take out of the fairy tale book because I also I started putting together a folder of like winter and Christmassy looking things. So I think these are gonna go into my winter and Christmassy looking. This is more fairy tale. I feel like. Um, hmm, this might be more like. Yeah, I guess this is fairy tale. We'll see if that makes it in. Um. Yeah, I think more witches to junk journal. Which side is the water and which side is the... This is right side up. <laughs> yeah, I have found that as I've been junk journaling... So, like, here's... I'll show you. I have a little pile of things because I was just sorting. I've just moved into a new house. And so I was just sorting through things um, and... Uh, like crafty things because my when my when I started to move my craft desk was just an absolute mess so instead of sorting it all there because we had a limited amount of time to move I was just like you know let's just put it all in boxes I'm gonna have to reorganize it all when I get there anyway so let's just this pile goes in a box this pile <laughs> goes in a box and um you know, now I get to deal with the consequences of my actions and but I just sorted through a bunch of boxes and this is my little pile of things that I was like this is not craft supplies. This is things that I want to put in my current junk journal because they're kind of personal and they're associated with memories or just, I just want to put them in there. So I have this ribbon from my Aunt Barbara's memorial service and also somewhere in here, um, yes, her actual program from her memorial service. And this technically happened, the memorial service technically happened before I started my current junk journal, but I feel like that doesn't matter. Um, I quit my Starbucks job this year, and also I went home to visit California this year, so I feel like I'm allowed to put this somebody else's used California Starbucks card in my junk journal. It's one of those things, it's just like, okay, it's too cool to part with, and also, it's technically useless. So, I can put it in my junk journal. <laughs> this is my little um, partner mail mailbox envelope that I decorated for the partner board at my Starbucks store and when I quit when I knew I wasn't coming back and it was like my last day or so I just tore off the partner board and um yeah I had no like if you'd asked me I don't know like a year or two ago if I would have had like any sentiment about leaving Starbucks I would have been like nope no sentimentality, only excitement. And um, it turns out that after I transferred to my new store, I just really loved my new store and I really loved my new people and I learned to love the job again. And um, so yeah, this is kind of a special memory and I do want to hold on to this. And I feel like it's gonna really bulk up my journal because this sticker is like so thick. But that's the sort of thing that I'm gonna pop in there. This, um, I feel like probably held like an eraser or something. I don't even know, but I feel like it would make a cute like page tab. Um, this is a sticker that I got when I visited the botanical gardens. And sometimes if I don't feel like committing to sticking a sticker on a surface, I will just put the unused sticker in my junk journal where I can look at it and enjoy it until I change my mind. Uh, this was a gel print I did of my hand. It was supposed to be for like palmistry reasons, which I don't even know much about Palm. I can't read palms. I don't know how much I believe in reading palms. Um, <laughs> what I said to somebody recently about palmistry is I feel like people who read palms are either like on one end of the spectrum, like just psychic and like the palm just kind of like helps them connect to you and they're actually just like straight up psychic or they're just straight up faking it. I feel like there's, there's not a lot in palmistry that you can like learn. Um, I haven't like tried that hard, but I don't know. Uh, I've tried to learn a lot of different types of divination and most of them, I feel like there's enough to it that like you can learn it and you can get something useful out of it regardless of like your personal psychic or intuitive powers. Um, like you can get more out of it if you are more intuitive, but palmistry, I feel like you just gotta be psychic. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this, but it's my handprint. So it's going in my junk journal. Um, this was a note that somebody at my Starbucks left for the closers. I was a closing shift. Um, this is 
scores from when I played Farkle against my friend, my old neighbor. Um, and it was on ugly paper, but then I gel printed over it and it was transparent paint, so you can still see the scores. So I figured I would tuck that in there. Um, I found this card that I just really like. If one truly loves nature, one finds beauty everywhere. Van Gogh. The quote's by Van Gogh, the painting's not. The painting, I believe this is the Katie Daisy How to Be a Wildflower deck, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And uh, yeah, I really love these cards. I have a lot of these set aside for uh, junk journal type projects, but this one was all bent up and I really love it. So it's going in my junk journal. Um, this is a note that came with, somebody sent me a little goddess doll to honor my miscarriage. And I thought I would pop that in there. I have a lot of journaling about my miscarriage in that journal. And this is a list of tracks that <laughs> I want to put on an album that I started working on a long time ago. And then just kind of like dropped in favor of other projects. Um, like this, I, I put this together and started working on this album long before I started working on Wildflowers. And then I started working on Wildflowers, put that whole album together in like 10 days, <laughs> released it, <laughs> and uh, have since made zero progress on Glitter and Gold. But I still want to do this someday. Um, and you know, that can go in my junk journal. So if you <laughs> are a witchy person or not a witchy person, and you find yourself holding on to these sorts of sentimental things, either for magical reasons or just for sentimental reasons, or just because you think they're pretty, um, I would support you starting to junk journal. Or if you just want a junk journal, I would support you starting to junk journal. <sighs> it's from a National Geographic article on Neuschwanstein. Okay, yes, here was the jacket for this book. So I definitely want to incorporate in this journal, I definitely want to incorporate like as much of the original like imagery and pieces <laughs> as I can. Um, I really love these illustrations. I think they're really cool. I think they're really fun. Oh, I know I put, I, she was like in this portrait, she was like holding a bunch of fruit and I'm not like, I don't know, I feel weird about just like putting Billie Eilish in a journal, but I felt like I wanted the fruit in my, um, I'm working on, what well, working on, I'm hoarding stuff for a um, Kitchen Witch cookbook junk journal, because I decided that, I started like so many journals um, to hold my own recipes, but every time I like start working on it, I'm like, I want, this is another reason why I think witches should junk journal. Um, I'm like, I don't like the way that these things are arranged. This makes no sense. I want to put something else here. I want to take this out. <laughs> and so I decided that my ideal format for like a Kitchen Witch cookbook journal is junk journal format, um, where there's very little recipe content actually like written on the pages. It's mostly like pockets and envelopes and tuck spots and things and then the recipes are tucked in so I can rearrange it add remove whatever whenever I want um and that is very exciting to me so I'm collecting and hoarding things for a kitchen witch junk journal and this had to go in there um but then when I saw just the top of her head I was like ooh, she kind of looks like like a siren or a mermaid like peeking up above the water like just imagine if there's water yeah so I figured she could and I just kind of started stuffing like anything that was as I was sorting stuff through anything that was like vaguely fantasy related or that I thought would have a vague fantasy like use I stuffed in this bag so just because it's in this bag doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> I was planning on using it in this journal it just means that I put it in this bag Ooh, love that she's got to go in there this page definitely has to go in. Okay, so let's put these in the Christmas winter folder. So I can have those out of my way. Okay. So we've got like a, let's just cut this out so I don't have to have the whole page around anymore. And I'm not gonna cut it out too carefully because it would need to be, if I wanted it to be a standalone thing, it would need to be backed, which could be pretty cool, and I would want to cut it out again afterwards, or I can just cut it out better later. Um, I love this texture from the spine on the end paper. Okay, so let's see. This was some 
cool stenciled inked painted paper that I did. Um, this is fabric from the lining of an old dress, but I feel like it goes with a lot of what's going on here. I don't really know why it's in here other than that. Okay. There's a lot of just like fun papers here to work with. This is from an old collection of scrapbook paper. So is this. Um, oh yeah, part of the cover of my old John Wayne Waterhouse calendar. Another part of the cover of my old John Wayne Waterhouse calendar. The swan leads the titular hero to his love in a scene from Wagner's opera Lohengrin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Oil painting, August von Heckel. So this is a mural or a painting at Neuschwanstein Castle. Um, King Ludwig, the whatever number, was a big fan and patron and I think friend of Wagner. And a lot of the decor in Neuschwanstein Castle is very much like themed to Wagner's operas, which is honestly like they call him the Mad King, but I think that he and I would have gotten along very well. They call me a mad woman sometimes too. I love to handsome prince. Got a flower coloring book page, sure. <laughs> Some scrapbook paper that's very fairy tale themed. Um, again, that might be fun in here. What is that? I think that's probably like a seed or something, but we're gonna throw it away and not think about it too hard. She's kind of fun. Okay, I want to separate like these big papers from like. The more like imagery type stuff. This was some watercolor ephemera I made in fodder school. I never finished fodder school, but you know, we're good. Um, I could still finish fodder school. I probably will. So still finish fodder school. Oh my god, there's so much happening here. There's so much happening here. Okay, instead of trying to sort through all this stuff, let's just keep looking through the rest of the stuff. And then we'll go back to the book and we'll just see what the book needs. I feel like that's probably the best way to proceed. She felt like she was right out of a fairy tale. This whole, this all looks right out of a fairy tale. I started to cut that out and then I got bored halfway through, I guess. I don't really know what I was doing there. Got a little Sienna. Okay, and then we've got some more pages from the book. What's this from? The Little Mermaid, obviously, duh. Silly question. Mm, beautiful. End papers. Um, more of these napkin pieces. I probably won't use these in this journal because there's already one of them in this journal. So let's set those aside. Swineherd. Okay, I like this picture. Um, and I might want to use this page, but I can't use it as a signature because it's only half a page. Oh, this would be a great one to use. It's got two title pages with illustrations. These would be great to like put um, pockets on the bottom half and cover some of the text, but then have this still show. Okay, I guess I probably kept all of the ones with title pages that I could. Ooh, we've got pieces of a paper doll that I may or may not have. I don't know if there's all the pieces here, but we'll put her in there somewhere. That'll be fun. She's a fairy paper doll. Okay. 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 So what I want to do, I think what I actually want to do is I want to put all of the like magazine pages together because those will be easy to find as what they are. I pretty much know what we have there now. Um, and then I want to put all of the like original pieces of the book together. Okay. Um, 
and then I feel like I'm kind of going more pastel. Um, I don't mind like this, but this is, this feels a little vivid to me for this. And this feels a little not quite fairy tale to me. I would want to use this in more of like a woodland girl. Um, like that feels good. This was the backing from a Snow White pin set that I got. I thought that was very cool. I don't know if that's really the color scheme we're going for either. This might be, but I might also decide to put this one in a woodland one, but we'll see. I'll hold on to it because I might use it in this. Some more paper scraps, paper scraps, nightingale, an envelope that I made out of scrapbook paper. Um, some Reader's Digest pages that were kind of fantasy-ish. I don't know if those are... This isn't very fantasy-ish. I just, it felt like mythological. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here. This one I might use in here, but I don't know. This is not gonna go in this journal. This feels very appropriate. Um, I might use some of these images, but I think these were actually supposed to go in a spring journal project and not the fairy tale journal project. Let me see. Okay, I might keep the duckling though with the ugly duckling. Okay, let's put the other ones away. Um, okay. um why not? We've got some. Okay, so let's pop this over here in a pile to be dealt with later and we've got some doilies but yeah so I think I'm thinking about like my kitchen witch journal that I want to make and I feel like that is also like how I would want like a book of shadows to be if I or like a grimoire or whatever I don't really like book of shadows as a name if you do that's cool but like I don't for me um but I love grimoire mm, that is such a cool word um, is a journal card that I made and the glitter kind of moves a little bit. Um, yeah, like that. Um, so that'll probably go in here somewhere. And I just feel like, yeah, I feel like the junk journal format is such a great format for like grimoires, book of shadows, all that sort of thing. And I just want to see more witches get into it. And also I just kind of feel like I have permission to do whatever the fuck I want with my YouTube channel. It's my YouTube channel. <laughs> and also... Um, yeah, that's just kind of the era of my life that I'm in, is the doing whatever the fuck I want era of my life. I don't know what I'm going to do with a piece that small. You can go away. This is kind of fun. I don't know that this... I'm open to the possibility that this could work in this journal, but I'm not in love with it at this time. Thanks for supporting independent artists. These don't go in here. Um, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, this is from a card swap. This is fun. I don't know. I'm open to the possibility. Again, I'm open to the possibility that could work in this journal. I don't see it right now, but I'm open to it. I've got a fun little layered thingamabob. I think if I was smart, I am smart. This is a transparent sticker, and I knew that I wanted to like create this little cluster, but I didn't want to like commit to where to put it yet. So I put the paper behind it that says spring, and then I just put the plastic sticker backing back on it, I think. I think that's what's happening here. I hope that's what's happening here. Yep, that's what's happening here. Awesome. You're so cool, Verbane. Okay. And we've got some fairy postcards that I feel like work well with the aesthetic. Ooh, I made this to be a corner pocket. Is that too big to be a... Nope. Nice. Mallow fairy be a little belly band it's from one of the scrapbook papers this is from yeah a lot of these are from that fairy tale pack of scrapbook papers I guess I cut this one out of here and we can just decide what to do with that later Ooh, these are pretty little envelopes oh they must have come with this card set this goes so well with the aesthetic of this um journal I'll for sure they use that this just scrap of paper, scrap of book binding tape, haiku, 
washed by monsoonal summer's rainy weeks, how chill and white, how fresh and green are leeks. Dancers of Old Kyoto. The geisha flirt their fans, their sashes trail, like goldfish undulating fins and tail. That's cool. I don't know if, I feel like I must have put that in here because there was something in here that made me think of it. So we'll see. Um, this is from an Orboris stamp that I carved and then I hand lettered and decorated this. That might, I don't know if that'll go in this journal, but again, I'm open to the possibility. What's this? This is a piece of an image that um, I guess I used the rest of it for something else, but I didn't want to break it up and I felt like I could use it as like a cover of like a little booklet or something, which could be cool. So I'm open to that working. Got some spring stickers that I don't know why they're in here. Um, I don't really know what's happening here. I guess maybe, um, I guess I cut this guy out of his rose garden. Maybe I thought I could give him a different head or something. I don't know. I'm going to toss that. Oh, that doesn't inspire me right now. Wildest dreams. Love this frame here. That is why I kept this. I like these birds on the back as well. These backing papers, this is from, um, not the antiquarian sticker book. I actually I haven't located my sticker books yet in this unpacking moving in process. Um, there's a lot of things I have not located yet. I haven't located, I, I don't know if it looks like it, but I haven't located most of my paper. Um, <laughs> which my husband would probably look in here and be like, what do you mean you haven't located most of your paper? Um, but this particular sticker book, they've printed really cool images on like the backing papers for all the stickers, but it's really hard to use them because that backing paper is so waxy. It's really hard to like successfully glue it down to anything. So, um, I'm a little, I don't know, maybe I'll figure out how to successfully do that. Maybe I've already figured out how to successfully glue it down and I'm just psyching myself out about it. Um, but yeah, it kind of, it, it makes me nervous. It turns me off. So I'm definitely keeping this frame though. I don't know if this will go in this book, but I like it. So we'll see. Some ribbon. This is some sorry ribbon, sorry silk ribbon. And it looks like maybe I dyed this with, uh, yeah, I dyed this with lotus stamen, which is to say almost not at all, <laughs> but there's a little piece of lotus stamen in there. I've got a little fairy sticker. Got another little scrap of end paper. And then we've got the library jacket that was on here that I'm mostly keeping <laughs> because I love this little fairy tales genre category label. So I'm just gonna cut that out. I guess I could use this for like a shaker thing as well. Um, but I'll go ahead and put that in a separate pile of like that sort of thing so it's not clogging up my fairy tale journal pile and I wonder if I can like free this somehow so it's not quite so bent up mm, nope probably can't okay so oh no not in the paper recycling shit trying to be good about my paper recycling. I'm going to cut this out a little, just a little bit more. Oh yeah, I'm going to cut it out and get exactly the shape of the sticker. Yeah. So yeah, and I feel like also like, I feel like this fairy tale junk journal could be a cool, like everyone, every witch has a different magical practice and a different like aesthetic that they like to associate with their magical practice I feel like I don't know maybe I'm speaking out of turn maybe some witches have no aesthetic that they like to associate with their magical practice but I feel like I feel like art and aesthetics is actually like a big part of my magical practice I feel like like the way that I choose to fill my home with art and the way that I choose to make art um is like a big part of my magic the way that I choose to decorate is a big part of how I curate the energy of my home and the way that I choose to 
like I, I feel like when I'm writing songs or when I'm creating art, I'm channeling energy in a way and that that kind of is its own magical practice in a way and also that like when you do that like when you're putting like magic is largely like when you're enchanting something or like charming something or making something magical so much of that is just putting intention into it and when you're crafting something like a journal or even like working in a junk journal that someone else has made you're just pouring hours cons uh, you know, um, no come not consecutively like when it all adds up what's the word that means that um I don't know um when you put together all the time that you spend on a journal like this all those hours together like it's it, it turns out to be a lot of times a lot of times <laughs> and um a lot of intention and I think that's a really beautiful thing I'm gonna put these at the bottom of the pile because they do kind of feel appropriate but they're not inspiring me so you go to the bottom where I can't see you and um, same with you not on the bottom but you just go into this other pile okay so now we have these are all like other than that same thing I don't think she's gonna end up in this journal but she's gonna stay in this pile for now so we've got all these that are original parts of this book and then we've got the book. And we've got some tape on the book. That's gonna go. Yeah, so and I feel like the, okay, let's, hmm, do we want to know? Okay, so I haven't glued this down because I wouldn't want to glue this down until after I have bound the book and glued in the spine because what I'll want to do is when I have all the signatures which it looks like I've got two signatures in progress um this one's pretty bulky the spine is not very wide and I want to keep the original spine because I love the fabric binding and the title on the side I feel like the title on the edge is an important piece so what that means is that I actually have to be very careful not to overstuff this journal and I think let's let's take a look at how thick it is right now okay so right now actually this is like we've got room for some compression here we can we can compress it quite a bit so I'm feeling pretty good but also when you're making a junk journal you don't want it to be at its full capacity thickness right when you finished making it because as you work in it you're probably going to add a bunch more stuff to it that's going to make it a bunch thicker so okay but yeah so what i'm going to want to do and this I mean, that might mean that this only ends up being two signatures which is sad because I love making just like huge, crazy things. Um, I feel like, like I love at least three signatures in a journal, but we might have to limit ourselves to two or do three, but do them smaller. Um, but I'm just, I'm just like coming to terms emotionally right now with the fact that I probably can't actually like include all of these. Cause if I did that, it would be getting pretty thick. Okay, so this signature is pretty thick. This signature is not very thick. So I could probably, well, let's, let's, okay, let's take a look at this one. I really love this one as the first one because I really like you open it and you see this. Okay, so in here we have, I guess this is a, okay, so it's glued here and it's glued here. So it's kind of a pocket, pocket kind of a tuck spot. And then... Okay, I'm also going to take all of the inserts, everything that's like not attached, I'm going to take those out as I go through this because none of those are final decisions. A lot of them will probably make it back in, but I'm just going to do it. That's what I'm going to do. Calm down. Okay. I like 
writing space, but I hate stark white. So this needs some attention. I don't know if it needs paint or another layer of paper or what. Okay, this actually was part of the protective library wrapping. So I really like that this is in here um, and I wanna keep that in here and I want to um, glue this down so it is a proper pocket and maybe also add some more decoration to it. But I also, I like I said, I like that it is the original um, library protective wrapping. This here is from a coloring book of Bruges. Or I don't know if it's a coloring book. It feels like a coloring book. I think this I was thinking to like leave this first page of the tinderbox here, but then to like attach this up here so that it was like a flip up and there's writing space and stuff. I also don't have my washi tape out yet like that's also one of the things that I haven't found yet so I'm gonna be a little limited because I think I want to attach this with washi tape which limits me a little bit on what I can do today um, but I think that's what I wanted to do there let me turn that page this one is very decorated okay this journal card must go in here because it's got a quote from the nightingale blessed god how beautifully it sings in here and we've got all the nightingale section stuff um however it's not very thick and it's pretty stark white on the back so i might want to go ahead and back that let's do that now let's scoot those over here is this big enough? Probably not. No. This hooks over there. I've got some. Do we like this? That feels a little cool tone to that page. This is stark white. <laughs> Ooh, what are these? Got some Reader's Digest X Libris. Ooh, I like that one I like that one but I don't think I want to use that for this but this I could use for this and this feels like I know it's Reader's Digest but it feels kind of like royal fairy tale vibes let's let's do that but I also really like just that as it is. Okay. Okay, let me see what papers I have in here. I have like four paper dividers that I own that separate all of my cool papers and things, and I have one of them in this room right now. So well, let's see what's on here. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. I love this parchment tea. What else is there? Let's see, I've got some. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah, what I was really hoping, what I want, and what I don't have in this room, is all of my botanical dyed and coffee dyed paper. I have like a lot of lace print coffee and tea dyed paper. And I have a lot of botanical dyed paper. But not in this room, I don't. All right, let me get a little. Oh, I put them down here. New book pages. Ooh. Is this still good? I think it's probably fine. Let's open her up a little more. Usually this glue stick is blue when it's wet. It loses its color when it's dry, but I promise you, this is wet. Um, and it's definitely like the most reliable glue stick. I don't want to cut it where the lace is, so I'm gonna very carefully 
align that there. Lovely. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And then the other thing that I can't do is I actually have a ton of my ink here, but I don't have my ink daubers here. Those are still packed away somewhere. So I'll have to go back and do a bunch of inking things later. Some other time. Put that back down there. Okay, interesting. I appear to have moved this slightly while it was on the magazine page. So I got some glue on the front of it and picked up some ink off the magazine page. But you know what? No big deal. It's all gone now. Okay, and then we trim it. Where is my scissors? No, that's not the scissors I wanted. They're right here. And then just nicely trim right around that edge. And then I will want to go back and ink the edges of this later when I do have my ink daubers. But that is a later problem or a later project. Oops. Probably had beautiful um, corner round, corner rounded. Actually, maybe those were cut by hand. I don't know. Now they've been cut by hand. <laughs> okay, you're still a little bit wet, but no matter. Oh, that's so much better than that stark white. Okay, so let's toss this scrap, put this with my backing papers, pop this right back in this signature pocket where it belongs, because this is pretty non-negotiable. This has to go right in here, she says. And let's keep exploring this signature. List of illustrations, that's fun. I feel like though, cause like this isn't journaling space. I don't want to cover this necessarily, but this isn't journaling space. So we want to have either like a tip in or a pocket or both. What do I got? That's on the other side. Let's see. Okay. The other side is gorgeous. We do not want to fuck with this side. So I do not want to do that sort of thing. We're going to leave that be. Um, but we could still do any number of other things. No, nope. is this too big for this journal? No, it's like exactly the right size. Oh, that's painful. Okay. And we've got more of these papers. Hmm, I might like that. Yeah, that covers too much of the text. Oh, okay, we've got these fairy cards. I kind of like her as a tip in. Yeah, I do. Okay. And then, okay, what would I have to do? I could, I could handle a little bit of washi tape edging there. Okay, but I don't have my washi tape. So we're just gonna tuck this in here and go on with our lives. This is so beautiful. This has my name on it. So we're gonna pop that in my junk journal pile. But I do wanna tuck something in this pocket. Should it be this? Oh, that's the same paper. We're not gonna do that. Should it be this? It's not the same paper, but it feels too similar. Should I do? This feels unfinished. I need to stitch this. I'm putting this in my unfinished ephemera box. A box which I created today. Where's that fairy journal card? Here she is. Do we like her in here? I feel like she's too hidden. I want her in like a lower pocket where you can see most of her but I do want her in this book. What else have we got? What else have we got? Okay, we've got this postcard. I need something bigger. 
Yeah, I think that is actually what I want. I'm gonna tuck some of these in there. Sometimes your need to like buy a bunch of pretty things and just hoard them pays off because then you have pretty things when you need them. And then you have the right pretty things when you need them. Yes, let's tuck that there. Yeah, I used to be like somebody who buys a million bajillion things all the time with the excuse of I am going to use that in a craft project someday. And sometimes, uh, often, I would even have like a specific vision in mind for the beautiful crafty thing. Oh my God, go in the fucking hole. Um, for the beautiful crafty thing that could be done with said item. Um, often, however, I would not have any such specific vision. Um, or if I did, I've forgotten it. Um, I really love this little waterfall notebook kind of thing. Okay. Oh, we've got some. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. No matter. Let's turn the page. Love this up here. Um, yeah. So I used to be like a buy a lot of craft supplies and then just procrastinate forever and never actually craft kind of person. And this past year, I was like, I'm gonna make things. I made my word of the year for 2023 create, and I think I actually did post a video about that. Um, and I have no regrets about that. That was a great move. That was a really good move. Yeah, I have really mixed feelings about covering any of the Nightingale story because it's just like the best story. Um, however, I also have mixed feelings about leaving an entire page of text. So this is gonna have to be another like tip out or something so that it doesn't have to just be a page of text. Yeah, so I made my word of the year create and I just made it a point to spend a lot of time creating and I wanted to create something every day. I was really liberal with what that meant. Like it could be a loaf of bread, it could be a mark on a page, <laughs> it could be um, a line of a song, you know, it could be, I, I, it could be literally anything, but I had to give myself that space and that permission to spend time creating just for fun every day. And that was a really good move. That was really good for my mental health and probably for my physical health. Um, and um, now I have quit my job. So now I'm, and I, I was kind of in like a, I'm going to continue to spend lots of money on things for craft projects type person. Um, but it also finally becoming an, I will also use them type person. Um, so I've gone from a, I've gone from being an I buy lots of craft supplies but never use them type person to an I buy lots of craft supplies and use them type person to now I'm having to transition into becoming an I buy basically no craft supplies but boy do I sure use them type person. And I'm very excited about this transformation because the truth is I have collected more than enough for any one human to use in um, I mean, maybe not a lifetime, but certainly I have enough to keep me busy for a while. Ooh, I like that. That looks good in here. Let's just glue that down. Why not? Ooh, maybe let's glue it. No, if I do that, it... Let me get out of here. See, it looks really good, but I want to cover the staple. Okay, let's bring this back. Let's make this into a tab that covers the staple maybe. Let's see what's going on on this side, a mushroom. So if I do, well, that's too much. Oh, that's not what we wanna do anyway. I think that's, why wouldn't I just staple it in the first place though? Whatever, we're gonna glue it. We're gonna glue it now. Um, yeah, so now I'm like, all right, we're not really buying much, if anything, in the way of craft supplies anymore, but we sure can use them. 
So let's get busy. And I have so many, I actually have, like this is just one of them. I have um, several junk journal projects that I have like started but not finished where I have like some built signatures um, but they're not necessarily complete or they're not bound or whatever. Um, and part of that is I think um, it would be really fun to share that journey with you. Let's see, we want two of those. Where's the other one? I have like a hundred billion clothespins, but in this drawer right now, I have two clothespins. And they're both going to help us hide this staple. I think my problem is that I actually need this a little further in on the page. Okay. Pray. Da, 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 da. I'm taking this out. Oh, it looks good here. I'm putting it in. <laughs> All right. So, I need to glue it. Oh, oh this is my blue one. I opened a blue one, a new one, a new blue one, um, yesterday or a few days ago because I found it. I, I had my, like, my backup glue supply I had located, but my, like, regular use glue supply I had not yet located, um, which meant that I, if I wanted to make things, I had no choice but to work from my backup glue supply. So that's what I did. More things will have to happen on this page, but they don't have to happen right this very second. No, they don't. Okay, and that is the end of that signature. How many sheets do we have in it? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the middle. Okay, so six. Wow, this is going to be a small drunk journal, I feel like. But I feel like that's kind of, we're working with what the spine allows. And the spine is not allowing it very much. I hope I didn't just kill my glue by leaving it open again. God. This glue is, this is the art glitter glue, and it's so good, but it's so finicky. There we go. Okay. You go back over here. Can you go back over here? I'm going to try and stay organized. This is my second signature that I have in progress. How many sheets do we have in this one? One, two, three, I guess four. It's really thin, but I do like it. What's the rest of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a page. Okay, sorry, I lost count. One, two, three, four. Five. Five. Okay. I like this as the center. I like these together. We've got a nightingale haiku next to this page from the nightingale. And this bird that kind of looks a little bit like a nightingale. You can pretend. Um, okay. I like this as a spread. So those stay together. Okay, and then I like, hmm, I do like these across from each other, but it doesn't have to be that way, but I like it. Um, I like that. Okay. Here, between here, we definitely have room to make some additions. So let's see what we can do. Um, nope. Nope, those are single pages. Not, no, no. Let's put you somewhere. Uh, 
I'd really like to include her somewhere if I can. It's like the title page and it's the title page for Princess and the Pea and it's a really great illustration from Princess and the Pea. So I'd like to throw her in somewhere and we'll see what we can do. Little Mermaid, great illustration of a bird. It, oh, Inchelina. Okay, so this must be Inchelina, I guess. I like her a lot. I like this one a lot. I'm not terribly in love with this one. I do like that, but we'll set that aside. Okay, we might want to use those somewhere. I definitely would like to incorporate this somehow or other. Not attached. Oh. I mean, this would be great, but I'm not attached and we're really running low on room. This would be great as like a pocket or something but we're not gonna force that to be it's a single page so i can't use it as a leaf anyway okay okay also i'm allowed to fuck with this and mm, i don't know actually if i wanted to. i was gonna say i'm allowed to like turn it inside out um I really like this because we've got a full page illustration and then we've got full blank pages. So let's pop that in there. Okay, so that's better than just text to text. And that's also better than text to text. And we've got blank over here to play with, which is journal space and I can decorate it in other ways. Okay, and now we've got six sheets her signature. However, I really would like to include these two. So maybe we can get away with seven sheets per signature. I can probably take these off now. Okay, let's see if there's anywhere in here that I feel like I can add. Yeah, for sure. For sure we want something in between the white and white okay and honestly I do like this image at the front but also we could I think I like that better starting with the title page so then we would go okay let's go ahead and glue this shut because i may i may decorate it a little more but i don't need to access this bit This Art Glitter brand blue really is as good as everyone says it is. It's so good for paper on paper and it dries so fast. But you really gotta put your pin back in it and you really gotta not lose your pin. Cause I tried, um, I lost my pin once and I put a sewing pin in it and my sewing pin rusted. The pins that come with it or that come with these little bottles that I bought separately don't rust. But boy, do they get lost easy. Oh my God, go back in there. There we go. Okay. It also occurs to me that like, I think this is cool because it came with the book. That is pretty cool, honestly. 
Um, but it's, if you don't know that about it, there's not, it's not really that cool. Okay. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Waiting for washi tape. All of this. Waiting for washi tape. She could be a flip down. She could be a flip up. She could be a flip over. I think I, I think, I, well, we'll decide that later when we have the washi tape. <sighs> Thank you for hanging out with me while I get reacquainted with this journal and continue to work on it. Okay, I definitely do want to do something to this page. I'm not sure what. Mm, no, not that. And then also, I guess there's the question of like, I could just use this as a leaf. Is that what you call it? A sheet, a leaf? I don't know. Is a leaf like this or is a leaf like the whole thing? I don't know. I just work here. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. Ooh, and then we have these two right next to each other, which isn't totally necessary. Um, What's the back right now? that okay let's just hypothetically we put this in here I think I would want to trim it just a little because it was like the biggest thing and so if I close the book like this actually this way it doesn't really need trimming I mean it doesn't need trimming but I think that. Well, I guess I must have already been thinking about this because that's because it was folded like that. And I've already refolded it. So must be I was intending to use it in a signature. Great idea for a vein. Let's bring this one in just a hair. And then I will um, make these flaps pockets. That'll be real fun. Let's turn the light on here, why don't we? I guess we don't really need it. Oh, but that's nice. I do like that. Is that just, let's just cut off. Okay. Well, let's just shape it a little. Oh, I guess it was like, I don't know. that and then actually we could okay so I want to glue this here so that you could then tuck stuff in like that little tuck spot um but I want I don't want this just white back here so this is time for Neuschwanstein to shine oh my god okay what can we do here Hmm. That one, if I use this one, because it only actually would go to like, let's visualize. Well, actually, let's visualize with the proper thing. So that would be the middle. And I don't want to do that. And I don't want to lose too much of the other side of it either. Like if I did the maximum amount over. Yeah, that, okay, so this nice one shine is too big, but we have also this nice one shine. I 
think that's still taking up too much space side to side. That is very sad. Okay, what are our other options? Put the bridge. Oh, I definitely want to include that somewhere. Now this could work because I could actually in here, let's put this one over here. And then we'll put this one over here. And you just see. That's not so bad, is it? And like, like that. I think I like that. Let's do those. Um, but let's trim that. Well, let's probably actually. Okay, let's take these. <laughs> let's set this aside. Let's look at our other options really quick, just to be exhaustive. No, we don't have to be exhaustive. I like what I picked. Okay, we can go up there. I'm just like, what's the best way to like measure this out? And trim it. I think what I'll want to do is apply the glue to this layer. Is this the white one or the blue one? The white one, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay. Guys, I need you to know that this desk is actually like the ugliest and dirtiest black. Um, and I was just like, I literally hate this desk and I can't even focus when I look at it and it just makes me mad and it does not make me want to make art. It just makes me mad. It makes me sad. And um, then it occurred to me that since we've been painting, I need another one of these. Since we've been painting my house, I actually am the proud owner of approximately an infinite supply of brown paper. And I was like, man, you know what would look so much nicer than the ugly, dirty, paint splattered top of this ugly black desk would be fresh, clean brown paper. So I just did it. I just covered desk with the brown paper and y'all I am so happy with it I feel like it's like a new desk and it's like now it's inspiring <laughs> now it's fun now it's pretty now it's my aesthetic now it works for me in every sense of the word okay come on play nice with me I think I'm also going to trim and round this one. Not as much because I don't want to cut off. Okay. And then. 
then we'll go ahead and yeah, why not? We'll just oh, lay down a stripe of blue there. Put those guys down parfait. And then leaving this glue sheet underneath. Scoot this over like this. a little bit of room to play with so I'm going to trim this because I want to make sure that this whole couple gets like included right oh, yeah, they still get included but I'd kind of like to include the palm tree too if we can and we can we have the power I think I think um, we're going to be conservative and start with half an inch and see what that gets us. We can always trim more. Don't lose that blade for vein. This thing likes to pop out all the time. Hello? Oh my God, I'm doing it backwards or sideways or whatever. Okay. You ever talk to an inanimate object like it's the idiot and it turns out it's not the idiot? Yet. Okay, I don't want to cut off any more of her dress or this tree, so we're just going to get what we get of the palm tree, and that's how it's going to be. See, so yeah, I really, really love my fresh, beautiful brown paper wrapped desk. Brown paper furniture tied up with string it's not tied up with string it's um secured with blue painters tape but you can't see it because it's only on not the top surface of the desk just how i like it because i don't want to look at blue painters tape either i just want to look at my pretty brown paper okay come on behave now could you please god oh my goodness come on i do not have time for you to pull this shit on me right now. Thank you. Was that so difficult? Okay. And then we're just gonna run this under that lip there. And the same up here. I said I would make granola today. Oh my, so my husband is really being very good to me because um, I'm pregnant and I should probably like announce that properly online before I publish this video, but whatever. If you're like an hour and a half into this video, you're my close friend now and I can tell you. Um, so I'm pregnant. And so my husband is being really supportive and understanding because I am just physically not up for much these days. Um, and I'd really like to be. Um, like I have enough of my energy back that I'm like, got all these ideas that I'm excited about but as far as like actually being able to do shit it's just not there um I have more energy than I did in my first trimester I'm like what I don't know 16 17 weeks maybe now I have no idea um somewhere in there so I'm I'm in it you know um and I have more of my energy than I had in the first trimester but not as much as I feel like people led me to believe that I would, <laughs> which is fine. It's fine. Um, hmm, what can we do here? I feel like I could like add another image to like make it better. I don't know how to explain what I want to do, uh, but I'm going to see if I can find something to do it and then I'll show you and then you'll understand. Um, works out so since I'm well yeah so I got some of my energy back which is cool love it um but still like I'll I'll do like an hour of something even vaguely physical and then my body's like okay it's time to lie down on the floor for an hour now um which is not what I 
was hoping for. <laughs> um, okay, so what I want to do is something like this, but bigger, and on this side, going this direction. Like, if I could do like that, but if it went like over to here, that's what I want. So, hmm, what do I have? Let's go through. Um, oh yeah, so he right now is, because we're moving, right? Um, he has gone to our old house to do what is hopefully the last round of not picking up stuff. We've actually pretty much picked up stuff, but he went back there to do some cleaning today and we were totally both gonna go. And basically I did, I don't even remember what I did this morning, basically nothing. And it, I got like a couple hours into being awake, if that. And I was like, hey, I know I've barely done anything, but just so you know, my lower back has already quit on me for the day. So that's the thing, it's like, even if I have energy, my back and my hips, not cooperative these days. Um, very disappointing, very upsetting. Um, trying not to be too upset about it, but it is bothering me. Um, and he kind of like, and then I couldn't find my shoes, which I found eventually. Um, it's hard, kind of hard to find anything in this house. And since I quit my job, um, as far as like clothes are concerned, like we're very concerned with him being able to find anything that he needs at any given moment. For me, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of house ridden anyway. So as long as I can find clean underwear, um, I don't really need to be able to find like specific pieces of clothing. Like I don't have a dress code that I have to follow right now. So I'm kind of like my clothes are just not the highest priority thing in my life that needs organization. Um, for my mental health, my craft things need organization so that I can use them because that's what my mental health needs. I need to be able to make art. Okay. See, I want something with like an organic shape though. And I don't want to cut this out or like if I cut this out, it's not going to be a good pocket because it's going to be too pokey and fiddly. I want like a big flower cluster that is like a cohesive thing. Oh, maybe I should go into my roses folder. Isn't that crazy? I have a botanicals folder and a separate roses folder. Obviously I have some roses in my botanicals folder, but the bulk of my roses that aren't still in books are in my roses folder. So let's get that out. Um, yeah, so he was, we were about to leave and he was like, you know, I feel like maybe I should just go and clean because it seems like you're already kind of at the end of your physical rope and I'm feeling good and energetic and I feel like you might just be miserable there and I was like I wasn't gonna say that because I was trying to be helpful but yes I would be miserable there you are correct and so he was just really awesome and went and did not make me go which is really cool so what I have done is I actually painted a solid chunk of my kitchen this morning uh, when we moved in, it was all... Where the fuck are my roses? We moved in, a bunch of the rooms in this house were blue. And nothing against blue, but like, mm -mm, no. Um, well, one of them was a really terrible blue. And that's like nothing against blue, but like that blue, I have something against that blue. So that one, that's going to be the library. And I painted this beautiful dark green, Eastern Bamboo, if you're curious, bear. Um, I know I have a folder of roses. Here it is. And then this room actually was kind of a horrid pink and like the pink itself wasn't the worst part. The worst part was like the quality of the paint job and the fact that like kids had scribbled all over it. And that's great for someone else's house and fine for like if it's a kid's room, but like this is, this is going to be our guest bedroom. It does have a bed in it <laughs> and it's my craft art studio. And I was like, I want it to be one, I want the walls to actually have like a pretty close to white color because I want, I don't want them to be reflecting inaccurate colors onto my work while I work. Um, and two, I just want it to be nice and pretty and fresh. So this room is all, we painted it in cottage white, which is like a golden creamy, mm, warm. It looked way more golden when I like swatched it. And now that it's like filled up the room, it really does give more of like a creamy white vibe. It's definitely not white. Like the ceiling is white. Um, the door is white. The walls are this beautiful honey cream. And I really hated the beautiful honey cream next to the white trim. So I went and found the leftover paint 
from what had been used on the front doors. I say front door. There's like literally three front doors on this house. Don't ask me to explain. Um, so I went and found the leftover paint from that. And it's like this beautiful, like somewhere between like dusty sage and seafoam green. And so all the trim in this room is that. And the kitchen was a like a pastel blue that wasn't actually terrible, but it just wasn't what I wanted. And I was like, as long as I'm painting everything else, and as long as I know that I don't want this color long term, and as long as this room would really only take one bucket of paint, like I should just do what I really want it to be. And what I really want it to be is already got butcher block counters and like cream colored cabinets, which I love. And it would be like all my dream colors if it was just this beautiful pastel green. And so now it mostly is because I did, I've been doing a little bit of it over time, but it's also like the texture of the walls. It's like, it's like they've put like wood slat board. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but it's like, like up until, no, most of the wall actually is, you know, yes, yeah, pretty much the whole wall. Uh, it's like 12 foot ceilings. Okay. And the first like eight, nine feet of it, whatever is, um, these boards and I think it's like one piece like I think it's like panels I don't think it's like individual boards this thick but the the look of it the effect that it gives is that it's all made of like one or maybe two inch wide boards or slats um which is not a bad look but boy is it irritating to paint so it's been taking me forever to paint it. I was doing it with just a brush because it's like, okay, I'm gonna have to use a brush to get in those crevices anyway. Might, uh, might as well just use a brush. And then I was like, hold on, I can actually use a roller to cover a lot of space and then go back with a brush and fill in those crevices. And then as I was using the roller, I was like, actually, I can use the roller to cover a lot of space and then <laughs> use the roller, like slide the roll, like <laughs> use the roller to cover the space like this and then slide the roller up and down the crevices like this to get in there. And if you use enough pressure, that does actually work. And I did a lot of that. And my arms got really tired. Cause like I said, this bitch pregnant and it's just like things that used to be no trouble now make me tired and things that used to make me tired now make me pissed off. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, I did a couple hours of kitchen painting this morning and then I was like, I need a break. And this is my brick. Well, I came in here to organize and I did a lot of organizing. And then when I had done a lot of organizing, I was like, I have now earned a treat. Okay, not a single thing that will work for my purposes in here. This might be a good stopping point because I am noticing much to my dismay that the sun is starting to go down. And like I said, I told my husband that if he left me here alone while he went to clean, I would try to spend my time doing less physically demanding things that were still useful. And painting the kitchen was very useful and organizing my craft stuff was very useful. But this, how long have we been filming? An hour and 40 minutes. This has been a treat. This is not strictly speaking the kind of useful that I led him to believe I would be engaged in. So let's just, <laughs> let's just glue down these flaps and then we'll feel like we've finished something. That was a little higher up than I meant to go there, but that's fine. Da -da -da. And then if I find another um, piece of what I was looking for that I want to use to do the thing I was describing, I can just glue it on top and continue gluing it over because I'm not going to glue the side of this up at all anyway. Oh, where the, there it is. The pin is so easy to lose. Such a small and such an important and such a difficult to replace thing the pin is. Um, okay, that's good. And then let's put her in here. 
And now, okay, let's 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 give this a little more of a I don't have my bone folder. That's another thing I can't find, which is weird because I feel like things like my bone folder and like these scissors, these scissors I found by chance on the top of a random box as I was looking for something else the other day. Um, I've not like gone through that box, but like my stapler, these sorts of things I keep in this, you can't see it, but it's this drawer immediately to my left here at this desk. And so I was very surprised when I started crafting with like the minimal things I had located, which I've located much more since then. Um, and like these weren't in there and like I have a glue drawer down here and my like in use glues weren't in there and what was the other thing that I was just thinking oh yeah my bone folder maybe I'm crazy and my bone folder is in here but if it is I haven't run into it yet and it's a small drawer so I'm gonna use the scissors da, 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 da. pop this in there So every time I open this, I'm like, what's she doing here? She's totally off theme. But that, that is on theme. And this, of course, is the original um, from this book. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is better for the first one. And then going into this one for the second one. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, we've gotten some good work done today. My happy fun time treat break is over. And um, we'll probably, I'll probably come back and work on this some more with y'all because I feel like if you've watched this far, you're probably invested, right? I would be invested at this point. And I love, I love watching like Studio Lou. She does a lot of like long form crafting content like this and that is just like excuse me that is just like one of my favorite channels to watch and um every time I watch her I've been watching a lot of her lately especially because I'm like I can't well until a couple days ago I couldn't really do this myself all my stuff was packed away and so it was really nice to be able to like watch somebody else do it um and it's still nice to watch somebody else do it but then I like run out of her content and I'm like, I just want to watch other people doing the same thing. So now I'm going to be that other people. Um, and I know there's a million crafters and junk journals, junk journalers out there. They're different. I can't explain. I like some of the other channels, but I just, Cindy, Studio Lou, I love your channel. Okay. I love your channel. You're my hero. You're my YouTube hero. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let's do this again soon. And if you are an old subscriber because you're a witch or you're into the witchy shit, um, I hope that I have convinced you to be interested in junk journaling and um, to think about maybe starting one of your own. Um, and if you're new here, um, please subscribe. I am intending to put out more content this year um in this vein because this sort of content that I don't have to edit is easy for me to create so yeah anyhow I love you please subscribe and we'll do this again soon